for all. Okay, Commissioner Paradiso, please. Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessing and help as we are gathered together. We pray for guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with the spirit of joy and enthusiasm. Give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask that we would challenge each other to reach higher uh, and to be the best we can be. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Okay, Nikki, it's time for roll call. Commissioner Kirshner? Here. Commissioner Paradiso? Here. Commissioner Thomas? I am here. Okay, so I will accept the motion to approve the digital audio video recording of the previous board session that was held last Thursday, December 17th. So moved. Second. Thank you. Thank you. Nikki, roll call, please. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Okay, Stacy Wilson, you're on. Uh, the only thing I have today, uh, usually I have the CARES money request. <coughs> we, we had uh, uh, stopped taking requests for la as of last week. Um, Kylie's still working with me to get everything balanced out to see where we will be uh, for next week's board session, um, what's actually left. And I know there's some guidance changing, some laws changing, but as of right now, I'm not sure on what those are maybe some good news um but as of right now we're still we're still running it as we have to have this money back by december 30th so hopefully there'll be news to come soon um uh, just wanted to remind everybody that our meeting next week is again on tuesday at 11 um instead of 10 o'clock and instead of on thursday so just to remind everybody we meet it 11 on the 29th. This might be a good segue to have Highbridge give us an update on what they know as it relates to the latest COVID relief bill and or the current CARES money. If someone is on from there, they may not be because of the change of time here. No, we're here. We appreciate it. Yeah. Mike Ditto, good morning. Hi. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Yes, from what we can tell so far, uh, the United States Congress is passing legislation. I believe the House took it up yesterday, uh, and it will be sent to the president's desk later this week uh, that will extend the CARES Act uh, funding and payback dates, et cetera, everything related to the CARES Act by one calendar year. Uh, so that is not, I think Stacy's right, since that has not been signed by the president yet, it's probably a good idea and prudent to operate under the current guidelines. Uh, but we are expecting, and the Congress is expecting, an extension by uh, a full year. So as soon as that becomes official, we will certainly send that your way. Okay, thank you very much for the update, Mike. You bet. Okay, uh, moving on to uh, commissioner reports. Uh, commissioner Thomas. Yeah, a couple things. Uh, first of all, I do want to thank everybody for your kind words on the video. Uh, that was very nice. And I want to especially give a shout out to the staff. Uh, I don't think anybody really appreciates what a difficult job they have managing three commissioners with three opinions and elections happening every two years. And I just really want to appreciate, you know, express my appreciation for, you know, the effort that they put into keeping us all going in the same direction. So thank you very much. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about Opportunity Park before the meeting started, but uh, that looks like it's moving along well. And so I think Commissioner Paradiso is uh, going to take the, the point on that. I, I appreciate that. I think that's a good project for the whole community. Uh, just a little bit of update on HB6. Uh, as expected, uh, Franklin County Judge uh, issued an injunction. So we're kind of in the worst of both all worlds because there's no reform on the legislation and the fees that 
were to be collected will not be collected and passed on. We're kind of in the worst of all situations. And so uh, I think we need to keep continue to lean in on the General Assembly to, to make some changes there so that um, the best outcome can, can be achieved. So other than that, I want to thank uh, the citizens of Seneca County for allowing me to serve and to my fellow commissioners, uh, Commissioner Paradiso, Commissioner Kirshner, and of course, Commissioner Holly Stacey. Uh, it's been a lot of fun and I think we've done a lot of good work and I'm, I'm very proud of what's been accomplished in the last four years. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tony, for just a second, as a segue to change, I did have a brief conversation with Representative, soon to be Senator Reinecke this morning. They are taking up that legislation today. There are some uh, replacement bills to, to uh, six that they're going to discuss. I don't know how far they're going to get with them, but they, they are indeed in session today down there. So we'll see if there's any news coming out of this. Uh, Commissioner uh, Paradiso. Yes, uh, uh, we have a new Eagle Scout uh, in the county from uh, Village of, in the Republic area, uh, Andrew Steinmantz of Troop 442. Uh, all of us that are aware of that program, that is a tremendous accomplishment for that young man and his family. And uh, uh, as a uh, recognition of that, the commissioners have uh, put together a letter that we will be sending Andrew, uh, congratulating him on uh, his recent accomplishment of Eagle Scout. So I'd like to make a mention there. Um, I have I have two things on that. Um, one, I'm, I, I'm a, a former member of Troop 442 Republic. So, uh, hey. you know, I'm an alum. And also, Mr. Steinmetz may be a future township trustee because he is the nephew of the. I think we're having some technical difficulties here, Jimmy. Yeah, it looks like his internet connection isn't very good. So, uh, Commissioner Thomas, I would say to either call in or try to switch the video off to see if that helps. Well, one of the things uh, Shane mentioned was that he's a former member of 442, and it's just totally coincidental because he and I were reminiscing, uh, and his father was his, uh, Shane's father was a troop leader of 442. And we, we were having this discussion about camping and things that they did back then. So anyhow, we'd like to recognize uh, Andrew. Uh, really just have a lot of loose end projects that we, uh, that I'm uh, working on. We're working with the budget. There'll be a few comments uh, uh, in new business commissioner, but that's all I have for right now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Stacy. we can go on to old business and budget. Yes, um, there was an um, error in my spreadsheet uh, last week. I, you know, it doesn't matter how many times I look at it, something always gets missed, so. Uh, my totals did not include, even though we discussed the um, HR department, uh, the total was not calculated into the bottom number. Um, it just wasn't in the formula. I missed it. So that line will be the only line that totals out will change. And since we've got uh, for your um, review, uh, the transfer for foster care today on the agenda. I can pull that out of the budget so it keeps it under that number that we approved last week so that it would be just a little bit lower, $17,862,057.89. And also this morning, um, Budget Commission uh, discussed and reviewed and finally approved um, increasing the revenue for 2021 to 18 million. So those are the only two adjustments that I needed to make uh, for the budget. Okay, so the, the, the amount that we approved last meeting changed, so we need to now approve this budget? Yes. Okay, 
So I would amend. You can say amend. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, it, you can just amend the board's orders and that'll okay. be fine. Okay, that would be good. So I need a motion to amend the board's orders uh, to the number of 17,862,057,89 based on a uh, uh, certification number of $18 million for the budget commission. So moved. So moved. Okay, I'll second. Start. Shane, I'll second it. Any additional discussion? Tony, you have some discussion here? Are we, uh, so that 150 uh, states that we took out, are we going to deal with that next year at a later date, a later time, or? Uh, well, we've got on the agenda for today. Yeah, that's to, to move that up into this year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got it. That's all I have, then. Thank you. Okay. All right, we can move on to uh, new business at this point. You want me to do a roll call for that? Yes, you better. I'm sorry. Yes, please. Commissioner Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Paradiso. Yes. Commissioner Kirshner. Yes. Okay. Stacy on to new business. Okay. So I have a uh, supplemental appropriation into our, uh, excuse me, into our transfers outline for 300,000. And then I have the actual transfer to be made to the children's services fund for that 300,000 out of the uh, transfers outline into their transfers in line for 300,000. I have a resolution authorizing Seneca County Job and Family Services to transfer TANF funds to Summit County Job and Family Services and authorizing Kathy Oliver, Director of Job and Family Services to sign this and any other related documentation. And I have a resolution appointing Frederick Stevens as acting Seneca County Sheriff to be effective January 1st, 2021. And I think he is on the line. Yeah, so would you like to say anything uh, soon to be Sheriff Stevens? Uh, I just wanna thank the commissioners for appointing me for those three days. And I look forward to getting started three days earlier. Okay. Awesome. Good. Look forward to having you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything additional, Stacy? Nope, those are all I have. Okay, the typical situation is that the Central Committee appoints uh, any elected officials. We can do it in what time frame? Like a shorter period? Is that what we're able to do? Yeah, because I think the, the appointment for the Central Committee has to be outside of 10 days. Um, I gotcha. So it, obviously we won't reach that deadline. So it's just our appointment until perfect okay any questions on any of the new business supplemental appropriations or fund authorizations and transfers no nope, no I, I would like to say that i appreciate sheriff sheriff huckleberry's service it's been a pleasure to have him as our sheriff and he's been a good steward of county taxpayer money and he's been a strong leader in law enforcement so i didn't want this <laughs> opportunity to go by without acknowledging his service. Appreciate that, Shane. And that's, that certainly is uncled by me as well. He's, right, uh, same here. Thanks for bringing uh, that up. Been a real asset for the county. Thank you, it's William. So, yep. So okay. moved to the new business. Uh, second. Okay. Any additional discussion? Hearing none, Nikki. Commissioner Thomas. Yes. Commissioner Paradiso. Yes. Commissioner Kirshner. Yes. Okay. Anything else, uh, Stacy or gentlemen, that needs to be brought before this commission? Okay. Hearing none, it is now time for uh, public comment. You can state your name and address and uh, uh, limit your comments to about three minutes. We appreciate it. Jimmy, you know the routine. Yep. And if you are on the phone line, you can hit star six to unmute. <laughs> Good morning, commissioners. Uh, Audrey Flood at TSUP. Um, just briefly from us today, I wanted to let you know that we have finished processing uh, all the rest of the grants to the businesses. Yes, <laughs> very good there. That's been a lot of work. Um, so that is finished processing. Now we move on to the reporting stage with the businesses. 
Um, so things are going well there and no other updates from the rest of the team. Any questions for us today? That's the good news. You got it done in time and, and the better news is they're probably going to extend the time. So nice job. Thank you very much, Tisa. I've also got to thank, uh, I'm going to forget somebody, but Tisa, United Way, uh, FEDC, GL CAP, um, and anybody else, Stacey, that I'm missing? Job and Family Services. Job and Family Services, thank you for all their hard work in getting the money out from the CARES Act to businesses and individuals. Um, the total, if we don't get anything back, was how much? A million? Oh, 1.25. $1.25 million. My things are the community uh, for individuals and businesses. So a lot of hard work uh, and a short window to get it done. And we appreciate everybody's hard work there. Thank you. Yeah, Mike, uh, I, I believe, Stace, uh, that does not include what the counties and villages or townships and villages sent back in, right? Correct. Yeah. Plus the city of Tiffin plus Fostoria. So if my math is correct, uh, just guessing, you know, we're, we're definitely over $3 million plus of dollars that went directly back into the county, uh, counting the cities, villages, townships, and, and the county itself. So uh, pretty awesome job. Okay. Anyone else out there have any comments today? Don't see anything, Jimmy? Seeing none at this time. Okay. Uh, it is 1119. This uh, may be a record for this year. Uh, I will uh, call this meeting adjourned. Thank you all, and certainly Merry Christmas to everyone, and everyone stay healthy. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Vicki.